a very warm good evening to all of you once again i greet you all and i wish you and i wish that god's grace peace and his mercy and goodness be with you in abundance so i invite you for our daily meditation on uh, the book of psalm so today we are focusing on book of psalm uh, psalm 23 the fifth verse the third part of the fifth verse which says my cup overflows the first part of the fifth verse said you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies and now the next verse the second part of the verse was like this uh, you anoint my head with oil and the last part is my cup overflows so here we see a continuous outpouring of god's fullness of god's blessings so god will supply our needs beyond our measure beyond measure we won't even able to understand that we won't even be able to comprehend and contemplate that so it's beyond measure blessing beyond measure cup overflows means blessings not in drops not one drop or two drop but a deluge a flood of blessings and will be overwhelmed by that the widow of zarephath in old testament her a uh, cup ran out of oil she prayed and god himself ministered this miracle unto her and there was an unending supply of oil in her uh, bounty in her treasure so the same thing so this merciful deluge will drench us and it will be a flood of blessings so god is not miserly he is a god of abundance and there is a storehouse of his bounties which he wants you and me to experience in ephesians chapter 1 verses 3 and 4 we read that he has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in philippians 4:19 paul exhorts us my god will supply every need of you according to his riches in glory in christ jesus in second corinthians chapter 9 verse 18 we read that we may have all sufficiency at all times to be sufficient is to have everything in abundance your health is restored your treasures are restored your financial bounties are restored all your uh, things are all your lost glory is restored so that is what david confides in he takes lot of encouragement and motivation from this verse my cup overflows so the cup of goodness will overflow for you the cup of love joy peace hope happiness and health will overflow for you and the last verse says and i will dwell surely goodness and mercy shall follow me and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever now see these words goodness and mercy they are always used in twin context so goodness and mercy god's grace his mercy will follow us god's goodness is with us so don't lose heart don't lose cheer don't be discouraged god is there he is there to guide you he is there to help you and bless you in good health so recite the psalm often and understand that he is at your side you by yourself we by ourselves we may not be able to uh, accomplish anything without the blessing of god so you invite god in your hearts let him take reins of your activities and everything will be at peace for you let us look to the lord in prayer our gracious heavenly father we thank you for this wonderful time you have given to us thank you lord for having been with us all through this day you have given to us the joy of a new day master you helped us to enter into a new day so many people lord could not enter into this day there are wars going on going on in so many parts of the world there is a loss of health loss of life in so many parts of the world especially in india at this point of time you have kept us safe and sound your blessings are with us our cup overflows with your blessings we are overwhelmed with the deluge of blessings that you have been pouring upon us our cup of goodness joy health healing is restored and it is overflowing thank you lord for leading us to green pastures and still waters thank you lord for being our shepherd thank you master for protecting us in the valley of the shadow of death thank you jesus for restoring to us the joy of salvation thank you lord for every breath of air that we breathe thank you lord for every morsel of food that we eat 
thank you lord for the clothes we wear for the houses we live in for the roof upon our uh, on our head heavenly father there are so many people who don't have anything master but in the midst of that you have blessed us you have blessed us we thank you jesus and lord we also pray for our very dear nation india we live in india we are citizens of india we are we are burdened to pray for india master lord we pray for our nation you rescue our nation from the clutches of this covid pandemic lord you have to do this blessing master you have to perform this miracle lord for thy name's sake yes lord you will do that you will do that master you are the lord who performs miracles heavenly father you are the lord who restores all the lost glory for us master yes lord you restore the joy of salvation for our nation heavenly father let there be a wave of good health let be a, there be a wave of healing let be, there be a wave of uh, 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 rejuvenation let there be a wave of renewal of hope let there be a wave of confidence we do not want this second wave or third wave or whatever wave of corona virus that is uh, that is predicted that is being forecasted but we need your healing wave let this wave touch the entire nation that touch the length and breadth of nation from kashmir to kanyakumari from gujarat to assam lord let your waves let your uh, holy healing touch our land heavenly father lord once again we pray for all those people admitted in the hospitals right from the hospital right now let uh, healing flow through their bodies yes lord they are so much depressed they are desperate they are vulnerable they are all so vexed and frustrated lord we pray that you remove every ounce of depression from them let their minds and bodies and souls be renewed heavenly father in the name of jesus lord from the hospital they should get back to their homes master they would not remain in the hospital from there no more to the grave no more to the funeral areas no more to the funeral sites but to their homes but to uh, the smiling faces which would receive them in their homes heavenly father let them be with their families master and every soul understand confess that you are the lord every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that jesus christ is lord yes jesus you perform this miracle for thy name's sake yes master you lead them to the paths of righteousness for thy name's sake lord we pray for all those families who are grieving over mm-hmm. the uh, some somebody known to them somebody from their own family somebody from their own community from their own neighborhood who have been a victim of corona disease lord we pray that you give confidence and consolation to them you be their consolation heavenly father you be their confidence master you be their comfort heavenly father pray for all those bereaved families pray for all those grieving families Lord you be their light in this time of darkness you be their light master you be their confidence in this time of timidity lord we pray that you remove all their fear away there are so many people with so many questions what to do what next what would happen to me what would happen to my life what would be my future what would i eat how would i survive how would i take care of my family all these question marks master they lead to the cross lord you are the solution master you are the solution to every problem lord let us cast all our burden upon you i pray for all the little children who are affected by covid 19 lord i pray for all the adults all the youngsters all the teenagers all the adolescents who are affected by this lord i pray for all those people who are in the prime of their life who are affected by this covid pandemic i pray for all those homemakers the housewives all the professionals the job uh, oriented youths lord i pray for all those people let healing flow let healing flow master my cup overflows is what david declares in psalm 23 and verse 5 yes lord our cup of healing should overflow from now on master no more of deaths no more of infections master let there be 100% recovery rate lord now the covid pandemic has spread to the smaller towns to the villages to the rural areas especially in the states of uttar pradesh madhya pradesh bihar jharkhand lord we pray that your healing flow heavenly father yes lord your miracles should overcome this disease heavenly father lord nothing is impossible for you lord everything is possible for him who believes i can do all things through christ who uh, who strengthens me is what your verse 
encourages us about lord we pray that you put an end to this put an end to this let people turn to you let people turn to the living god lord i pray for all the uh, administrating bodies the governing authorities let them take the right decision in the best interest of the people lord i pray for india you heal our land you heal our india you restore our india back to its glory heavenly father and let there be your peace let there be a uh, that let there be your love and joy and goodness and mercy which would be flowing throughout as david says surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and i will dwell in the house of the lord forever let this turn into your house heavenly father yes master we pray for our nation we pray for all those cheerful hearts of india we pray pray for our fellow countrymen heavenly father yes lord you heal them you bring them back from the clutches of death Yes, Lord, no more of hell for us, but only eternity, but only eternal life. And at this point of time, we also are reminded to pray for our brothers and sisters in Israel as the conflict between Israel and Palestine has escalated in the Middle East. Lord, we pray you put an end to the conflict. There are so many people, so many citizens who have taken shelter in the bomb shelters, so many children there. Lord, we pray that this war time be over and your glory be revealed at the right time. Lord, we pray for all those people, all those families who have lost their loved ones. Lord, you be their comfort. Yes, Lord, let the true Messiah be revealed, Heavenly Father. Lord, we pray for the Israel and Palestine conflict. Let it come to an end. Lord, we pray for all the nations of the world. Let that be peace. All the nations of the world turn to you. All the nations of the world may we beseech you, may inquire of you for any any activity. Lord, we pray for all the organizations like WHO, F. AO, United Nations, UNESCO, UNICEF, Lord, we pray that you help the authorities to take the right decision, Heavenly Father. Help us to pray more and more. Help us to pray. Uh, prayer brings victory, Heavenly Father. Prayer wins battles, Heavenly Father. Lord, when we pray, the heavens are shaken, Lord. When we pray, your will is understood, Lord. Yes, Lord, you come down from heavens, Heavenly Father, and you, and you listen to the cries of the people. Once again, Lord, we pray for the COVID pandemic, Heavenly Father. Let it stop master let there be a miraculous decrease dip and uh, reduction in the number of cases heavenly father and whatever vaccination process is going on let everything be done in your purview heavenly father lord we pray for all those people who have lost their jobs who are working from home lord we pray for all those families who are vexed by this disease because of the lockdown they were not able to go out all the children who are at home all their tantrums and nagging be brought to an end let the children look up to another physical activities, Lord, to pass their time. Yes, Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for our nation. Lord, you bring healing to our land. You bring healing to our land. Also, so many people who are not yet affected, Lord, they are always in a constant fear. Whether I will go out, if I meet somebody, there will be an infection. I met someone, this fear psychosis. It wrecks a havoc on their psyche, Heavenly Father. Lord, we pray that you give peace to these people. You give peace to our land, Heavenly Father. You heal our land. You heal our land. The blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary should not go in vain, Heavenly Father. One drop of that precious blood is uh, enough to, is adequate to wipe away the sins of mankind. Yes, Lord, we confess our sins and we want to rejoice in your salvation. Take care of us, Heavenly Father. Protect us, lead us and guide us. We pray this prayer in the sweetest and the matchless name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen and Amen. So friends, take heart, be cheerful. Don't worry about the pandemic. Don't worry about the disease. And overpowering God is in front, in front of you. He is there to take care of you. He is there to listen to you. He is there to answer your prayers. So bring all your problems to Him. Whatever your situation is, he is capable enough to, uh, to shift that in your favor. May God protect us, comfort us, guide us, lead us according to his greatest will and mercy. See you again tomorrow. Till then, be happy. Keep praying. Bye-bye.